What's up guys? Welcome to Hunchback Farms 2020 here today. Just going to give you a walk around on our farm truck. We got our 2001 F-250. It's got 96 12 valve Cummins in it. It's a little farm truck. It's a little beater. So this is like the symbol of Hunchback Farms here. So I just kind of want to give you guys a walk around of it here today. Okay, so this is it. This is the power plant. This is a 96 12 valve. Um, it's got bigger injectors in it. Um, it's running the Ford, the Ford clutch, the Ford um, brake system, the Dodge power steering, the Ford radiator, um, Ford intercooler. This truck used to be a 7.3, so obviously the 7.3 water pump went bad. So this motor was put in it. It's got the Ford or the Dodge NV4500. Five-speed manual in it. Um, it still needs a little bit of finishing up yet. This is just in here because I was cleaning some stuff off. It starts good, but uh, you know it's a really good, really good system. As you can look at the motor mounts down there, it's done right. Um, just replace the fuel filter on it. Um, it's still got the stock turbo. The only aftermarket is the bigger injectors. Um, so if you guys want to come down this way, so obviously it's a beat up farm truck, it's got a lot of fading. We're thinking we might wrap it or something, we're not quite sure yet. Um, obviously it's lifted, I think it's got a 4 inch leak system on it, it's a lot higher. It's still got the Ford axles in it, it's got custom drive shafts front and rear so the 4 wheel drive works good. It's got the Dana axles in it, super reliable. Interior. Sure, definitely needs to be redone yet. I'm probably gonna keep the rubber floors. I like the rubber floors. I'm gonna probably be getting like a like a black interior for it probably. Um, you got the five-speed manual, the four by four floor shifter. Um, all the gauges work except the RPM gauge, but I can easily just stick an RPM gauge on it. Get your boost gauge here, your fuel pressure, battery voltage, oil pressure temp down there, um, touch screen, Bluetooth radio. Back seats are okay yet. Um, like I said, we just want to put new interior in it just because it's kind of obviously old and worn out and stuff like that. We're in Wisconsin, so you know, rockers and cab corners are eh. Um, when I got the truck, it had this flatbed on it. The guy put a gooseneck just on the bare frame and then he built a flatbed around it, so it's kind of ugly. It used to have a couple stacks in it. So we're probably going to uh, put a, either a regular truck bed on it or a better flat bed. We're not quite sure yet. We're still going to do something with the fuel filler next. Like I said, just a project truck, you know, it'll get there. On the back, you got your custom tail light plate. All the lights work on it good. Still got the Ford factory tow hitch on it, which is good. They rerouted the... The wiring plug in up here, the old backward gooseneck, obviously. But we can splice in and uh, we can put a new one down by the bumper. This side paint is alright yet. Obviously, they rip the 7.3 badges off, but it's gonna be a good project truck. We got a lot of good things coming for it. Um, that's about it. So, you guys stay tuned. You're gonna see this truck as it evolves here at Hunchback Farms. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And be sure to um, follow us on Instagram at Hunchback Farms. Right. You guys have a wonderful day. Yep, you too.